Hello, Fix It Phil here, back again with another home improvement video. This time we're covering my work van that I do all my home repairs in. And oftentimes in, in winter, you'll find that your battery drains or it's hard to start. So what we're going to do with this home improvement video, hopefully it'll save you money, is to show you how to clean the battery terminals. It's a very simple process. The first thing you need is baking soda. And you pour a little baking soda into a cup like this. You don't need much, just a little bit. And then you pour a tiny bit of water, just less than an ounce just to make a little paste then you take a toothbrush and you mix it together and you make a paste like so then you take the paste and you rub it all over your battery terminals we're going to need a little bit more water There we go. And that neutralizes all the acid and all the residue from the battery. Now, I've already loosened these battery terminals with an appropriate wrench. Simply turn the little bolt on the top, the nut, excuse me, on the top. And you can see the battery terminals are already loose. Now the first one you want to take off is the negative, so you don't have any shorts. So I'm going to duck that up, put that out of the way, duck that down there, and finish cleaning the battery terminal around and around. Now I'm going to do the same with positive. See, we got some residue there. I don't know if you can see that chunk right there. Let me move this. But we got a chunk right there we need to get. And this was all up inside the clamp here. And work that around and clean it off. Clean it off real good. Push that all down the side. Out of the way. Okay, we're going to slip the battery terminal back on because we're going to wash this down with a little bit of water. Get all this mess out of the way. Now we've got the battery terminals all cleaned off on the top part. Now we're going to clean the battery post and inside the battery clamps with a battery post and clamp cleaner. It's a brush. This goes inside the clamp and this goes on, side, on top of the post. Once again we remove the negatives. Tuck that out of the way. Tuck the positive out of the way. I just want to mention working with batteries, you definitely want to wear eye protection 
and wash your hands when you're done or wear gloves or both. All right, we got the post clean. Now we're going to do inside the clamps. There's a negative clamp that's cleaned. Now we'll clean the positive clamp. Good and clean. All right, push that back out of the way again. Now you want to take some paper towels and wipe the post on the top of the battery. There's a negative post. Looks good and clean and shiny. Let's clean the positive post. That looks good and clean and shiny. Whatever you do, you want to make sure you do not short the battery because it can cause an explosion and the battery is full of sulfuric acid. You definitely want to wear eye protection anytime you work on a battery or even check the fluid level in a battery or charge your battery or anything to do with a battery. Okay, we got that all cleaned up now. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put battery terminal protectors on. This will stop the battery terminals from becoming corroded again. That's what happened with this battery. Put the red on the positive side and green on the negative side. Once again, we want to hook up the positive first, and then we want to hook up the negative. That's it. And tighten up the terminals, of course, with the right size wrench. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Fix It Phil. If you liked the video or it saved you money or if you found it helpful, Please click like or subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.